Welcome here everyone. Today we got a very special recipe for you. Today we're gonna to be making walleye wings. I'm Kevin Funk. For me, cooking isn't just about putting food on a plate. It's the connection we have to nature and the relationships made when breaking bread. Join me as I share my love of all things food and the passion for the outdoors. Walleye wings are the bottom portion of the fish. You got this big chunk of meat there right by the pectoral fins and uh, behind the gill plate. Uh, so there's quite a big chunk there and they're great for uh, appetizers or starters to a meal. So we're going to show you how to keep these things and turn them into something tasty. They're going to be deep fried and we're going to pair them with some uh, french fries, homemade french fries and a spicy aioli using habaneros and sweet red peppers. We're going to start the sauce with our peppers, a little olive oil and a pan. So you're going to get this going over some medium high heat and you're just going to add a touch of olive oil. You don't need a crazy amount, just a little bit. So after you've rinsed off your habaneros, we're going to take the seeds out. They're already quite hot. We don't need the seeds because that's too hot. Unless you really like spice, then you can leave them in there. Uh, but we're just going to give them a rough chop. They don't need to be cut up because they're all going to go on the food processor and be blended up right into the sauce. So just a rough chop into the pan. So we're going to have two of those. Now we've already de-seeded and uh, separated our red peppers. So we've got four sweet red peppers here. Just a rough chop into the pan. Next up we got garlic. We've peeled these off. We've got three, heads of, or three cloves of garlic. We're gonna give those a rough chop as well and throw those in. give that a stir. All right, now we're gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. Just a pinch of each. Fresh cracked peppercorn. And the juice of half a lemon. And give that a stir. It's gonna take a couple minutes. And after a couple minutes, they're gonna get hit in the food processor. So for the rest of the ingredients, you're gonna need roughly a cup of mayo. You can make your own, or you can just buy it, whatever is easiest. Uh, homemade is definitely better, but buying is fine. So you're gonna have roughly a cup of mayo. The ingredients I showed you here, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil to the food processor. Blend it all together for a nice, smooth, spicy sauce. And add this to the food processor, along with the mayo and a little more olive oil. sauce is done and we're gonna start on the fries. So we've got ourselves here four golden potatoes and we're gonna cut these up by hand. So we got four of them. I find these are the best for fries. So what we're gonna do when we cut these is we're just gonna cut them into strips however wide you want them. I like mine fairly thin. And then stack it like this. And go again. Flutter like that. We have some wedges. They're all different and that's great. So we're gonna do that to all four potatoes. We are going to uh, coat these in a little bit of cornmeal and then we're gonna fry them. So we're gonna spread them all out, like so. Got some cornmeal here and we're just gonna do a light sprinkle over them. Give them a turn, get it coated do it again. Doesn't need much, I used probably two tablespoons there for those four potatoes. And those are now ready to go in the oil. We brought our uh, canola oil up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's uh, 10 minutes exactly, and they got to a point where we were, they were floating and they're looking beautifully golden brown. So we're gonna take them out now, and we're gonna lay them down on this paper towel so it can absorb some of that excess oil. We're gonna uh, fry our fish at the exact same temperature, so you can just leave that aside. 
um, and put these on a side. You put them in the oven at a very low temperature to keep them warm, or just tent it with some foil um, just to keep them warm. Uh, but the oven works great at a low temperature to hold them. The fish doesn't take long, so this isn't going to be sitting there for a while. All right, so we're going to get going on our walleye wings. So these are pectoral fins, and you can see they're just right in there. Uh, there's a big chunk of meat, and then you got a gill plate here, so you have your fillet here, and this would be more often than not discarded. Um, but everything on here is edible, like you can eat the fins, um, and it's a great way to use the whole fish. So yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to dust these things up, we're going to soak them in some buttermilk, and then we're going to dust them up and send them into the oil bath. Our buttermilk here, we've got some panko breadcrumbs. Simply some white flour, salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna dip these guys into the buttermilk. Just let them sit for a tiny bit. Now you can do this with beer if you want, so you get your beer battered. All right, so you're gonna wanna grab yourself a bowl, or I'm just simply using this uh, pan here. And we're gonna put our dry ingredients in here, mix it around, it'll just be easier to uh, dredge our walleye wings in there. So I'm just going to put the flour in here. Now panko breadcrumbs are quite coarse. Um, I love them but I want to break them down a little bit. So I'm going to add my pesto mortar here. I'm going to add a bit. And I'm just going to break them down a little bit. Not too much, about half of what they were into more of a, not quite a powder but it's still got that texture. So I've added a little bit of pepper in there as well and I'm now going to add it a little bit of salt about a tablespoon and the garlic powder is in there. So we got about a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. So we've mixed that up and we've cut that that grind in about half and we're just going to add that to our white flour. Now we're going to add our wings to this, press them in there, get them coated and just lay them out and do repeat. These are uh, Lake Winnipeg walleye. They were caught just last weekend. All right, that's all of them. So now I'm gonna just wash my hands up because it does build up on the fingers and we're ready to put these in the oil bath. All right, so our oil has reached its uh, 350 degree Fahrenheit or just north of that. So our fish are ready to get into that oil bath to keep talking about. Uh, so we've we'll got the battered wing here and we're just simply gonna drop these things in and let them go. They take roughly three minutes in beautifully. So we're gonna take these things out now. It's been three minutes. We've got our slotted spoon again. Looking for that golden brown color. They've come up to the top as well. Such a neat, neat dish. Uh, it presents absolutely beautifully. You can see there, that weight off my finger. Got the pectoral fins there, held their shape perfectly, nice gold brown. You can eat that whole thing if you'd like, or hold it by the fin and nibble on it. So, walleye wings. All right, so our main uh, objectives here are complete. We've got our walleye wings fried, we've got our fries fried, uh, we've got our sauce made. Now we're just gonna make a garnish. Uh, it's also a flavorful thing, and it also is a presentable thing, which makes it look a little over the top and great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our pan back here. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, canola oil, roughly half a cup, because um, essentially we're frying sage leaves and enoki mushrooms. We're crisping them up, so you need a bit of oil in there. Or enoki mushrooms, they're great for frying up. So I'm gonna cut them off at about the halfway point. This is a lot, I'll save some for later. Make sure you wash these. Um, but these are gonna go right in the pan and fry them and crisp them right up. And we've got sage leaves here. Sage leaves are one of my favorite things fried. Six or seven there. Those burn quick. These take longer. So you're gonna put these in first, follow it up by these. And we're gonna just hit them with some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna grind up a little bit more pepper here. We've got this going on fairly high heat. We're gonna take our mushrooms. I'm only gonna use about that much. We don't need too many. And we're just gonna fry these. Got some pepper. Just 
and you got some salt. Just keep an eye on it. You don't want them to burn. Stir them around. They're very, they're very soft. Um, you fry them up, obviously they crisp up and they'll get to roughly the same color as our uh, walleye wings if you let them. I'm gonna pull them off a little bit before that so you can see them pop on the plate. So just keep an eye on them, they don't look like they're done. They are, when you take them out, they're still soft. They'll crisp up on your uh, cutting board. You'll start to see what looks like little dark spots appear. They're not actually gonna look like that when you pull them off, but you'll see them, it's a bunch of bubbles and stuff. I'm not exactly sure, but that's how I know when they're done. Change color a bit. Start to see these dark circles forming. So they actually finished before the enoki that was put in there first. So they've got a nice golden color. Some of them are golden, some of them are still white. So nice contrast there, it's gonna look pretty. So you turn the heat right off and get rid of this. Get rid out of the way and now the fun part, plating. Just grab a dish. Bring our walleye wings in. Bring the fries in. It's time to plate. So we're gonna put the fries on there, then the walleye, top it with our garnish, a little cilantro, our aioli, and hit it with a little more lemon. Now we're gonna hit it with some sauce. So we've got our aioli. Don't do too much unless you really like spicy, because this is hot. Drizzle it like so. Or simply put it in a little small bowl and dip it in as you please. Just rip a couple leaves off. Throw it on. Lemon. Now our, noki, our fried noki mushrooms and sage. They've crisped right up. When I pulled them out, they were still soft. And there we are, fried walleye wings with potato wedges, spicy aioli, cilantro, fried enoki, and sage leaves. Thanks for watching, hope you like this recipe. Uh, if you make it, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you, see what you think. Uh, if you'd like, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate the support. Um, but yeah, thanks again. I hope you have a wonderful day.